Hello everyone, I hope you're doing well. Today I'm gonna teach you guys how to emulate Storm 2 on a fucking emulator. You know why? Because someone in my comment section asked. And if anyone asks me how the fuck to emulate games, I'm gonna jump right into it. Immediately. Now, um, I'm sure you guys may wonder, wait a minute. Twisted. Are you actually gonna teach people how to fuck to pirate a game? When you, when Storm 2 is already available on other platforms? Isn't that encouraging something illegal? Here's the thing. Uh, first of all, I made a video explaining you guys how to use Anycly. So, <laughs> the barrier of legality of my channel has been crossed a long time ago, okay? That's a lost cause. Here's the other thing, though. Nothing that I'm going to do in this video is actually illegal. So, I'm going to show you guys. This right here is Storm 2, okay? This is Storm fucking 2. This isn't a download. I didn't download this from the internet. This is the actual game. This is the actual disc. I assume it's not damaged anywhere. I assume it's going to work. It should work. <laughs> uh, it's been a while. So, what I'm going to do is... I'm going to insert this right here. Oh, there's already a disc here. Hang on. Why does this always happen? Ah, it's Red Dead. That's cute. Alright. I'm going to put Storm 2 here. And I'm gonna grab my fucking controller. Uh, wrong one. Where the fuck is my controller? Uh, oh, there it is. Hang on. Uh. All right. It turned off by itself. Should do that. Uh, this is the PlayStation 3 days. So, yeah, right here, Storm 2. Now, what I'm gonna do is this right here is multi-man now i'm just gonna say to you guys right now this everything that i'm gonna show you right now requires you to have a jailbroken playstation 3 now i'm not gonna teach you guys how to jailbreak a playstation 3 not because i don't want to but frankly the process is very fucking complicated and multi-layered you're better off watching a youtube video of someone explaining how to do i recommend videos from modded hardware on how to jailbreak a playstation 3 but after you do that, you need to install Multiman, which is a homebrew program. So open here. And we're going to wait until this boots up. Wait for the Windows 2000 theme. There you go. All right. So the game should show up. Where is it? Ah, it's not showing up. Hang on, sometimes this happens. Um, yeah, refreshing it didn't work. All right, I'm, I might need to pause the video a little bit. All right, there it is. The game's here. Um, this sometimes happens. Um, just, just, I just want to, I just want to make it clear that I didn't fucking do any fucking weird shenanigans. I didn't, I didn't like secretly download the fucking game or anything. Just, just look. It says disc. Okay, it says disc. Okay. This, this is completely legal. Anyway, I'm going to click triangle. And then we're going to click copy. And then we're going to copy to the PlayStation 3's HDD. Well, technically speaking, this PlayStation 3 has an SSD. But obviously, this doesn't recognize it as an SSD. And it's certainly not running anywhere near as fast as an SSD. But I digress. And it should copy right now. Now, I'm going to have to pause this again unless you guys want to watch 27 minutes of fucking copying files. So, see you in a bit. Alright, now it's done copying. So, what I'm going to do right now is actually copy this to a USB drive. Now, Multiman doesn't behave the best when it comes to um, USB drives that are formatted in anything other than FAT32. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to use a different homebrew software called Irishman. So let me actually close this. Quit the game. One, one thing I do hope though is my USB drive doesn't get corrupted because that's something that happens a lot. Would, uh, actually, I'm not even, I don't even remember which format this has. If it has like any type of NTSC, sometimes it gets corrupted for no reason. Because uh, NTSC is fucking trash. <laughs> but anyway, uh, hopefully things will go well. Uh, I might need to free up some space as well on my USB drive, depending on how much it has. 
All right, let's go to file manager. How much? Ah, 17. That should be good enough. Um, all right. Yep, this is exactly my drive. So, um, if I'm not mistaken, it should be in dev HDD. And then I go to the folder called games. And then let me search. Oh, there it is. Stone 4, so I click triangle, and then I copy it to the USB drive. Hell, yeah, it's NTSC. Uh, NTFS, not NTSC. Fuck! I've been thinking a lot about PAL NTSC. NTFS, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Microsoft Windows. Sorry, Bill Gates. I confused your fucking name. Anyway, copy this. Uh, this one's gonna take a while, so I'm gonna have to pause the video once again. All right, now we're in the actual fucking computer that we're gonna use to emulate the game. Now, you might be noticing that I'm using Linux here. I wanted to use Windows 11, but the thing is, for some reason, Windows 11 just won't let me fucking boot up the game properly. It either doesn't, literally doesn't let me boot up, or even if it does boot up, it gets stuck. Um, I don't know, I, I, I don't know if this is just a Windows exclusive thing, or maybe I, I fucked up somewhere? On my fucking Windows build, I don't know, I, I and I don't want to fucking deal with it. I'd rather just use Linux. It's way easier for me. But yeah, this is the game. Um, just to be sure, um, if I go to open install folder, uh, this is my USB drive. So this is the game that I just copied to my USB drive, which is good. And now let's actually create a custom configuration because as you guys remember we need to enable time stretching this is very important otherwise we're gonna see some audio delays and uh, okay it only goes up to 720p that's fine let's increase the resolution scale to 1080p because we're living in 2023 and um, I don't think we need to change anything else besides that because I think the game I guess um, uh, I mean, if based solely on Storm Generations, where the opening sequence was playing too fast, uh, it probably won't happen here, but just in case, we're going to put Position 3 native. Just in case there is a specific cutscene where that might happen. And, yep, other than that, I think everything's cool, everything's poggers, and we're going to save custom configuration. Now let's fucking boot up the game. Here's another interesting fun fact about the Position 3 emulator. See, one of the, one of the main things that actually makes this emulator probably amongst the easier ones to legally emulate, is that with a lot of emulators, like for example the PlayStation 2 emulator, the Nintendo Switch emulator, those ones require like either BIOS files or some like product keys, which you do need to extract from the console itself. I mean, could I extract the product keys from my Nintendo Switch? Honestly, yeah, I can. I know how to do it. Uh, PlayStation 2, I've actually tried hacking that. It's not the easiest thing to do it. But with, with this, with the PlayStation 3 emulator, you don't even have to extract anything. All you really need is, see here where it says uh, install firmware. After that, you just need to install the fucking firmware, which PlayStation themselves actually make this thing available on their fucking website. Like, you can actually go to their fucking to the PlayStation website, because, you, know, um, you, know, you, know, you know the whole meme where people say, like, ah, you know... You, you need to download everything from the internet now. Like you basically the whole thing where you can't use video game consoles without ever needing to connect it, without ever needing to connect to the internet. It's like a meme or thing. But the thing is with PlayStation 3, I believe also PlayStation 4, I'm not sure. But PlayStation 3, 4, and probably also 5, if you don't want to connect those devices to the internet and you wanna still update that. PlayStation makes the firmware available online. You can literally just download them, go to the fucking website and download it. Which this emulator also only needs the firmware and as long as you have that, you have an operating fucking emulator. Which is really cool. It's really goddamn cool. And yeah, pretty much it. It's a very simple process, I would say. Yes, we are going to load Oh, I did not set up my fucking controller. That's funny. That's fucking, f fucking funny. F <laughs> yeah, cause this is actually the first time I'm using RPCS3 here on this, uh, on this computer. Uh, it should be good. All right. 
Will it let me now? It still won't. All right, that's fine. Ah, that's interesting. Hmm. SDL. It might work with this. Let me actually check. Yep, it worked. Look at how fast this installs. Oh wait, this is slower than usual. That's interesting. Normally this would fucking beef up super fast. This is actually installing like a real fucking PlayStation 3. That's pretty funny. I might just skip this part around because I don't want to show you guys. Actually, you know what? No, I'm not going to skip this part. Let's actually discuss Storm Connections right now. So, um... It's been a fun launch. Um, I know there was a whole controversy regarding like the voice acting. Apparently people thought it was AI, but I think Bandai confirmed that no, that wasn't AI. It was just it was just bad choice of recordings, which I don't know how they can get that far. How you can fucking get to a point where your voice actors are like recording several lines and you just happen to pick the worst ones. I'm very interested in knowing what exactly led them to that situation. Uh, and then there's a whole issue with Xbox where... <sighs> God damn it. People that have Xboxes, they can't fucking play online. The matchmaking is awful. Uh, they did put up a statement. Like, initially, they t put up a tweet saying, like, yeah, we're aware and we're fixing it. And then, like, like a week or, like, maybe more than a week... They they, they, they they shared one of those, like, fucking apology PNGs where they were like, yeah, we're very much aware with this issue and we're, like, cooperating with Microsoft, whatever fuck. Can I just remind you guys just how fucking ironic it is that they're using, like, at least they're partnered with Microsoft Azure Cloud or some shit like that. Like, something related to Microsoft Cloud. And yet the Xbox platform just happens to be the one where the matchmaking is, is the fucking worst. The absolute irony in that. But yeah, I don't know. Storm Connection is a fucking... Colossal fear. I'm gonna be completely honest with you. This might legitimately just be the worst launch of any Storm game. Like, I wouldn't I wouldn't say the Storm Connections is the worst one. Like, I feel like compared to Storm 1 and Storm Revolution, I can play Storm Connections. Like, it's a lot like the gameplay is more bearable, at least to me, because those two games they they just have certain aspects of the mechanics that I just don't like that much uh it, like in storm one i think <laughs> storm one has some pretty fucking chaotic like party game ask mechanics things that are, things that sh that were from the position 2 era and should have maintained in the position 2 era it does make the gameplay very fascinating to revisit because it is like it, it, it shows a very clear different in the vision that they had back then so it is kind of fun to revisit it from that aspect but it's not a game that i particularly enjoy playing for long hours, especially because the inputs are very sluggish in that game. But, yeah, that's the life of a fucking Storm player. It's very chaotic. But yeah, I think, yeah, we're gonna create a new save file. Sure. Man, this is oddly slow. I mean, I know this isn't like an NVMe SSD, so it's not going to be as fast as that. But even then, this is actually slower than I thought. I might need to double check the speed of this SSD because it's it is, it is definitely running slower than usual. Oh well, it is what it is, I guess. I, as long as this actually fucking works, that's fine. But even then, like, would the PlayStation 3 take this fucking long to create a save data? Like, come on. <laughs> oh, I know why. I know fucking why. It's because I'm running this from the USB. That's why it's slow. That makes sense now. Who the fuck pick English voices? Hang on. Uh, Japanese. Hell yeah. Yes, yeah, safe. What am I doing this? I'm not gonna fucking play this here. I guess I just want to flex the fact that, oh yeah, I, I definitely watch anime with Japanese voices. I'm so fucking better than everyone, whatever. I mean, I do actually believe that, but you know. But, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, Storm 2, it's pretty fucking playable. Like, I don't know if you guys want to see me do a match. <laughs> sure, I guess. If you guys disbelieve me that this actually works, I'm showing you guys. Showing you guys right now, this game is playable. Um, 
since I'm running this game for the first time, it might load a couple of shaders. So you might be, so might you might see some like you know missing textures here and there. It's fine. Yeah, I, I, right now. Interestingly enough, I think the, f I think this game is running at a pretty fucking shit frame rate. Maybe even lower than 30. Let me actually double check. Alright, let's try. Oh no, it actually is running at 30. I think I'm just not used to 30 FPS anymore. I feel like I've been playing Storm Connections for so long that I actually forgot that this was the frame rate that this game used to run at. It's pretty funny to think about that. Like, that's the one thing about Storm Connections is that I feel like it's going to normalize the idea of 60 FPS Storm. Because the thing about... Um... The thing about Storm is that I feel like for a while the meta has been largely 30 FPS and that's simply because um, most people are probably going to play the game at 30 FPS because a lot of people have PlayStation 4s and Xbox Ones. Or oh, hell, even if you have a PS5 and Xbox Series X or S, you're still playing the game at 30 FPS regardless. And so it is one of those things where because of the fact that the majority of people are playing the game at 30 FPS, a lot of people probably got used to 30 FPS when the game initially didn't have a PC port. Well, actually, no, it's not that it didn't have a PC port, it's more so that the PC port didn't have 60 FPS at launch. So a lot of people just probably got used to the frame data from 30, and no one ever got used to 60, because when you play the game at 60 FPS, it does change some things. It, it definitely does alter the frame data in some ways. And I do hope the Storm Connection is going to be the game where everyone's finally going to fucking play the game at, at 60. Because even though, yes, PlayStation player, PlayStation 4 players and Xbox One players are still going to play at 30 FPS, I think, I think over time, people will buy the game on, uh, on PS5. I think a lot more people are starting to get PS5 and Xbox Series S or X. And for anyone that's playing on PC, you already have the option for 60. And so, yeah, I think that over time, the 60 meta is going to become more prevalent. And one really cool thing about Storm Connections is that when you play online, you can actually pick the option to only play people play against people that have 60 FPS. So basically, only people that are playing in the newer generations. So if you don't want to play against people running the game at 30, you can actually pick the option. Which I think, going forward, that's how it should be, in my opinion. Because honestly, I think we've been... I think we've been we, we've been too used to, too fucking used to 30 FPS. And I honestly think that those Storm games in general are, just feel better at 60. I've always felt that. I've always felt that ever since I started playing Storm 4 at 60, I, I just always felt like, yeah, this is how the game should be played. 30 FPS, like, it's definitely understandable during this generation, you know, when these hard, these, you know, when the PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360, maybe they weren't powerful enough to run these games at 60 but now that we actually have pretty decent hardware we should get used to this but yeah that's pretty much it um thanks for watching this video and yeah play storm 2